Greetings, travelers, and welcome to another episode of Let's Play Pokemon Shining Pearl Nuzlocke, presented by Draco Breach. Now, the team I am bringing into this are going to be Bill, Wise Glasses are probably not a good idea, Cyrus, Great Joe, Carlos, yeah, the Wise Glasses really aren't, okay, Carlos, I, and Gene. I think this is my best bet against him. But, uh, yeah. If this team gets wiped, honestly, I don't think I stand a chance <laughs> with, with my boxes. Um, could be wrong, but I don't think this is a big problem. Um, Bill is going to be my lead, and Great Joe will probably be the star of this show. Although that's a possibility that that won't be true because Great Joe is weak to rock and Byron uh, is a steel type, but a lot of steel types are also either ground or rock and both love learning rock moves. So yeah, Byron sent out Bronzor. Steel Psychic, not a big deal. Um. Steel Psychic uh, can't do much against pretty much anyone on my team except for um, potentially. Um, I was faster. How are you slower than a Bastiodon? Um, I actually kind of want to wear out that Trick Room because I don't. No, actually, you have a fast mod on your team. Why did you use Trick Room? I'm pretty sure I know one of you. I, I'm pretty sure I know. Let's see. Okay. I know what your ace is. Your ace is slow. I'm pretty sure I know one other Pokemon on your team, and I'm pretty sure it's fast. You'll be able to get off a of Confuse, right? That's potentially cool. Hello? Guess I get a free switch. Okay. Okay, Steelix is a bit of a concern because it could know a rock move. But it's Okay. Steelix is probably faster than Gyarados. With Trick Room up, that means that Gyarados... Okay, never mind. <laughs> Storm. Oh, I guess that does raise Ground-type special defense, but I, I'm trying to remember what Steelix is. I think Steelix is Rock Steel. Forgot that you could learn Thunderfang. Okay, um. You don't really have much that you can do against Gene and Carlos. I think at this point. Because you're going to send. You will not send out your ace right now. You're going to be faster simply because of the trick room. Did trick room go down and I didn't realize it? That's entirely possible. Okay. Based on... Okay. Yeah, his ace is Bastiodon. And yes, Stealth Rock was only to break sturdy, but I'm not sure 
about leaving Gyarados in because you could very well have an electric type move. If you have an electric type move, That's one thing that I do like about Metacham is it is surprisingly bulky with its decently low defenses. <laughs> I was right. Fortunately, I can take two crits or Wait, with Sandstorm, Sandstorm has one more turn left, so it's probably actually three normal. But this is quite effective. There we go. I think it, I, I overthink everything because I really don't want to lose anything. <laughs> but Cyrus and Great Joe just jumped to level 40. Great Joe... Probably, you're not learning Hydro Pump, I'm sorry. Great Joe probably won't be in the next gym. Uh, not a great choice for that gym. Might be, uh, might be in the next gym. No, actually it might be. So yeah, I, th I think Great Joe will probably be in the next gym. Um, Hammer is not a great choice for the next... Hammer is really not a great choice for the next gym at all. Hammer is a decent choice for the 8th gym, though. But the 7th gym... No. Uh, I can't swap Pokemon here. I remember that. But, yeah, that was that was Byron. That was... Uh, I, I was right to remember that he had a Steelix. And I was right to remember that he... That's one thing that I do not understand, though, um, is why he would have electric attacks. That doesn't make much sense. You're tough enough to take a shot at becoming the Pokemon Champion. Of course, I'm tougher. Anyways, Gabriel, come with me to the library. Um, what am I doing? Sure, we'll go with you to the library. I thought I would get to use Jean or Carlos, but uh, I kind of got to use my near original plan, so, you know, that works. Um, right. I can have somebody following me, and I typically stick with my starter, unless somebody comments and says, hey, I want to see so-and-so following. But yeah, um, I don't think I've been in the library to show it off, but there's not much in here. There's some, you know, some books that you can read. I think there's some stories in the um, original Diamond, Pearl, and Platinum. There were stories about um, Pokemon sitting at the same table as humans, and there's stories about... Um, there's a story about this, this man who goes kind of crazy and starts just hunting Pokemon for fun and the Pokemon eventually just you know come completely disappear and he promises he breaks his sword and promises to never hunt Pokemon again just for fun and the Pokemon tell him you know if you hunt us then it is for a purpose i.e. if you're eating us you pick our be bones clean and then you throw away our bones um, I wasn't paying any attention to that, but it's it's a start. It's a story about Sinnoh and the great legendaries, and then massive weird occurrences. There's a tremor. Um, uh, something big just happened. They're saying that a huge explosion happened at Lake, like uh, Lake Valor. Kaboom! Like that. 
So, yeah. Gramps, I'm going to the lake. I have a bad feeling about this. But with that, Jim, with Byron out of the way, we have strength. Yeah, oh, uh, blah, 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 blah. I am going to go over the implications of that. Uh, not what I... I forgot to pick berries or they're on... Okay. But, um, there are two Pokemon that I can catch now. And I'm hoping to catch very specific ones. I have taking, taken some efforts to make sure that I can catch them, which surprisingly included catching Gene. Um, so there's that. Um, but that will be next episode. Um, I might get to, well, one of them is definitely next episode. I don't think I'm going to be able to get to either one of them today, but, um, you never know. You never know. If I keep going the wrong way, you'll know for sure, but, uh, the... It, it might be fairly easy to guess what I'm going after. Um... Neither one of them are going to go on to the to Team A, basically. Um, next up, Lake Verity. I, I'm not sure I like you know Twin Leaf Town because it's out in the middle of nowhere. Well, I'll tell you something. I kind of enjoy living in the middle of nowhere <laughs> when I get the chance. I'm not really in the middle of nowhere right now, but. I, I kind I still have Bill in the lead. Um, I do not have amulet coin. Yes, I do. Bill has the amulet coin on. Come at me. Bill's like, dude, you, you serious? I was going to use. Now, admittedly, if I had used Stealth Rock there, that would have been um, kind of bad. I want to use Fury Swipes. So that's doing one point of damage. That's that's doing one point of damage each turn. Bill's like, congratulations, you did four damage. What are you going to do now? Oh, faint? Well, it's, it's not a trip to Disney World, but, uh, you know. Uh, who? You know, Max is the most behind, and Max is not going to get to Star for a while, in fact, not until the Elite Four, so um, let's go ahead and put Max in the lead. I like leading with Bill. Oh, hey, okay. glad I have Sturdy, not that I needed it right there. I'm not going to risk that, because <laughs> that just took off. See, and that, that's... That's the lovely thing about having Sturdy and so much defense is, um, I don't have, okay, I forgot to put a flying move on you. I think the only flying move that the Mover Learner can teach you is a special one. So I might use Pluck on you. Yeah, I'm... That'll give you a decent physical fly type move. Aerial Ice thing. Aerial Ice is nice. But... I'm I'm gonna save Roost. I know I have three of them, but I'm gonna save Roost. Because if the worst happens, as we have seen, this game loves to throw the worst at you. I'm gonna keep I don't think I need mean look. 
Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of Mean Look. Mean Look has its uses. When you are um, hunting for Pokemon, especially ones that like to run. Bug Buzz. Decent special move. Flash Cannon. Not bad for Bill, especially considering that we have discovered that special attacks are not too bad on him. That is it. That is definitely something to think about. Do I have anything else? I don't think anything around here can. <laughs> hey, hey great, great Joe, you want you want to come out here and show them how worthless Magikarp are? I don't. Yeah, there's a. It, this is. This is so sad. Just Magikarp, just flopping about, can't really do anything. Just. Sad. And there's not really all that much that, uh... Yeah, we're gonna go with Pluck. Sometimes... Poison? You can't... You cannot poison me, and... I, I, I love the new selection that... Is sometimes that sometimes happens. Now, if I remember correctly, um, the AI in the original Diamond um, is kind of really bad because I, I think every single trainer, including the gym leaders and the Elite Four, have random, which means that they'll just pick a random move. Um, I'm pretty sure it's been improved in Shining in Shining Pearl Brilliant Diamond because I've seen um, I've seen trainers maybe not just, maybe not the random run of the mill ones but I've seen trainers use you know actually good moves but at the same time I'm not sure of that because Fantina did not use Dazzling Gleam on um, Lila. I'm still not over that. How in the world did that Gengar have a dazzling game? Why? I, I mean, it's it is smart. It is a <laughs> it is a good um, counter to dark types who really just um, steamroll her gym because if it. Honestly, if it weren't for, if it were not for, um, Dazzling Gleam, Dark types just would be untouchable in her gym. Yeah, based on the amount of time that I have, that has passed, I probably will have enough time to go after one of the two Pokemon that have opened up to me. Yeah, there's just lots of sad magic harp all over the place. What do you want? Are you one of those nitwits we fooled into guarding the entrance? <sighs> it doesn't matter who you are, it's too late to make a difference. Things are gonna get real interesting. I don't know why I want to read his dialogue. <laughs> Probably because he just he's just like, are you one of the nitwits we hired? The mission is proceeding without a hitch. The boss should be pleased. Everything is everything is for everyone and for the yeah. Blowing up a lake is good for everyone. That's... I... I... <laughs> Saturn, you made me face palm. That hurt. That really hurt. 
Okay. Kadabra is actually somewhat scary to a decent portion of my team. Yes, that includes Crobat, uh, because Kadabra has I mean, I didn't care about lowering a Kadabra's attack, but... <laughs> you literally just doubled my attack power. You put up Reflect, which halves it, and now you've doubled it, which makes, which makes Water-type moves the most effective move that... Oh my... Oh... Oh... I hope you have a water type Pokemon on your team because otherwise that was the dumbest move you could use. Oh man. Yeah, that was just dumb. Because Waterfall is literally the most effective move I can use right now. Like, Crunch doesn't even compare. You survived. You know what? You can't do much to me. I just got a free Dragon Dance. Toxicro, you could have dry skin. Um, I'm not going to be able to find out on this turn because you haven't taken damage. So I'm going to try... You resist crunch. You could have a rock type move. Don't think you can have an electric type move. Wow, you actually make you're actually making me think here. <sighs> okay. You know who Toxicroak really can't oh wait, I just said he could have no can Toxicroak have a rock type move? Actually, that's a good question, can it? Revenge. I do four, no, no I don't. I do just two X damage. Revenge is based on, yeah, it's not based on the damage that I do. You do have dry skin. Using Waterfall would have been completely useless against you. Dry skin is interesting because it basically means that water type you're, it means that you're immune to water type moves and you in fact heal off of water type moves. So that is a very that is very interesting actually. Um, I'm not as scared of Bronzor as I am of Kadabra because Bronzor and Bronzong yeah, Bronzong maybe could do something to a Crobat, but Bronzor Saturn is probably one of the least scary of the um, commanders for Team Galactic. Um, I really think that the Scutank and um, Progly are some of the scarier battles, although Progly primarily because um, Check out the situation in Lake Verity. I have, so I probably have to leave. Um, probably, probably primarily because of how early you fight it. Um, it can be a kind. It can. It can be kind of a scary battle when you for the first time. Verity. Oh boy. Okay. So I'm not going to have time. That's fine. Because I think we are about to witness something kind of pitiful. Um, yeah, let's let's let mom heal us up. Scut Tank might be the scariest of the aces for the commanders. 
Um, Toxic Croak can definitely be scary. Um, now that I know that it has dry skin. Um, probably the scariest it could be. Nah, Gabriel, what timing? Those Team Galactic Scoundrels are after the legendary Pokemon. You've got to help Dawn. Ow, ow, what's with the Soul Timer? Oh, this is double bad. <laughs> wow, okay. But, um... Scutank is going to be the most defensive. Toxicroak is going to be the most offensive. Progly is kind of a mix-ish between the two. Um... Oh, Power Punch actually would not be a bad idea. But... It's... It's kind of hard to say, because... I, Skuntank definitely is the scariest of the three, because... Um... It has the least weaknesses, or the least... The least easily discerned weaknesses uh, being Poison Dark. Because it is weak to ground. No, it is. Yes. Yes, it is. Um, but it's resist. It's neutral to fighting Bug. Immune to, immune to Psychic. This is actually kind of an interesting setup here. Um, we'll do that on the... Honestly, the Golbat is not going to be much of a concern against Cyrus. Even with a... I think the strongest move it might have... Mm, have Aerial Ace. That's 60. Wing Attack is 50. I don't think it can have anything really worrisome. It's not fully evolved. Almost got taken out by a single plug. Air Cutter, I think, attacks both, so its uh, power is reduced. So, yeah. That's Stunky. Um, I'm just gonna use. And I'm gonna close combat whatever comes out on the other side, because <laughs> I don't need to worry about defense and uh, special. Okay, you had aftermath. I wasn't. I was not thinking about aftermath at all there. But aftermath is probably going to be the most damage that these guys can deal. I think so. Yeah. Now the next episode will be complete, probably completely composed of an optional side area. In the optional side area, I intend to catch something. That's all you have left. I... I feel very sorry for this glam meow. Because that had to hurt. That's literally one and a half times. I'm sorry. Two and a half times. Plus the plus the same type attack bonus. Plus the weakness to fighting. That oh that glam meow was I I I legitimately feel sorry for that glam meow. Because that had to hurt. That had to hurt a lot. What does this team have in store for me? Stunky and beautiful. If you have Aftermath, I believe the fact that Flamethrower does not make contact will ensure that Aftermath does not take effect. I think that's how it works. 
but I know that the galactic commander that has a stun tank has aftermath, so that's the only time that we can find out for 100% sure if I'm right or not. But I don't remember. Glammeow, glammeow. Uh, let's just stick with Flamethrower. It's honestly a very powerful move, and uh, Cyrus does have slightly more special attack than physical attack, so may as well stick to it. I don't think you actually fight. You survived. Excuse me? You survived? <laughs> um, no idea how, but uh, yeah, that Grand Meow survived a attack from a Crobat. Go figure. That face, it brings back bad memories. I'm talking about the valley, okay, you're, so you're the poor ugly person. I caught a whole lot of trouble for that incident. What's with that look on your face? You do remember me, don't you? No, do we fight you? I'm Mars, one of the commanders. How cute, you two think you can save the day and me, 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 me. Not a chance, not even a teeny one. You're all going, yeah, we can fight you, okay. I guess we get three boss battles in this episode. Not that the boss battles against the Galactic Commanders mean anything, because they are lower level for some odd reason than Byron. Byron is 39. Admittedly, I think that his Bronzor was 37. Wow, you survived that pretty well. I might be forced to actually withdraw my Crobat. I doubt against a Golbat because, yeah, it's a Golbat. Uh, yeah, I can survive a crit. Not that it mattered. My rolls were good. Okay, Cyrus is out of the party again because 42 is the next gym. I do not want to learn Fire Spin. Fire Spin is overpowered in Gen 1 and maybe Gen, Gen 2, but it is uh, not good otherwise. It is a trapping move, but I'm still not a big fan of trapping moves. Okay, no, you're the same strength as Byron, you're level 39. I was wrong, Mars. I don't apologize. All right, you're gonna have that citrus berry. I probably could have actually just plucked that away. Now that I'm thinking about it. Oh well. Wait, you're faster than that's Problematic. I didn't think that a probably would be faster, but um yeah, here we are. Here we are looking at that. Bill is almost out. Ooh. Nope, no, I do not want to learn haze. Um <laughs> Haze, Haze has its uses, not that I would ever really care for them, but it does have its uses. I'm trying to think, I think, yeah, Bill is probably going to be decent in the next gym. So Bill is probably going to be out of the party once he hits 42. Bill is just, I can't think of too many gyms where he's not useful because he'll be he'll be of help in both the seventh and the eighth gym 
Confusion could be problematic on you because of pure pe- No, that did not do as much damage as I thought here. Okay, even a crit won't take me out. Actually, no, that might be a lie. Crit might take me out. Okay, that Bronzor is actually giving me trouble. Who would have thought that a Bronzor would give high trouble, but... Uh, confusion. Hit myself in confusion three times in a row. When confusion... when hitting yourself in confusion is a 25% chance. That's how it goes. AI cheats. <laughs> but yeah. Got, um... Got three boss battles for... For one... for one episode, I suppose. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, that's not too bad. Got, um... Saturn and Mars out of the way. Again. Well, Mars again. Saturn for the first time. I lost again? So first it was the Valley Windworks, and now it's Lake Verity that I owe you for. This shouldn't be happening to a Team Galactic Commander. Calm down, Mars. I've done my part in all of this. My mission was to transport the Lex Pokemon to our HQ. That's right, I accomplished my mission without a problem. So, yeah. She tells you about the three spirits. Um, Mespirit, Azelf, and... Mespirit, Azelf, and... Ooksy. So, the same thing occurred at Lake Valor. I worry about uh, Lake Acuity. Not much you can do about Lake Acuity right now because, as we can see, it's up here. We have to go through Mount Coronet to get there. That will be happening relatively soon. Um, but first, yeah, Orber, there's going to be, like I said, an optional side area visiting next episode. I think the optional side area will take up most, if not all, of that episode, but we'll find out. Until next time, this will be Draco Breach reporting out. God bless and safe travels. And please remember to like, comment, and subscribe.